Hey there folks and welcome back to the I Am CDB project. I of course am your host CDB, you are not, and today we're going to use the Q-Shave uh, Future Like Clone is what I call it. It is an adjustable razor, very inexpensive, like $14.99. I want to thank if memory serves on uh, Amazon. Very, very reminiscent. In fact, almost a, a clone of the Merker Future. We're going to be using Katie's Bug Bubbles uh, Fouet Le Orange, which is really a terrific. If you like orange scents, this one is just terrific. It's different um, than almost any other orange scent out there. Kind of hard to describe. Maybe creamsicle-y, something like that. Really terrific um, scent. I'm going to use the old school TSC brush, the Rudy Vey TSC brush that was given to me. Uh, as a gift by a nice gentleman in Ohio. And uh, let's go ahead and put the blade in. Today we will just, uh, we'll go wide open with this thing. Let me just go ahead and turn it up. We'll go all the way on six. Kind of hard to see the numbers on that, but anyway, the top looks like this. The razor sort of sits in that top like so. And then you just push the cap down and it clicks into place. Um, the people who've cut themselves with this razor on their hands have almost always cut themselves when trying to put the blade in, take the blade out, or adjust it. Uh, to adjust it, I would just, you know, hang, uh, handle it right there, squeeze it, and then adjust it that way. That way your uh, hands are safely uh, out of harm's way. Let's go ahead and, oh, one of the other things I'm gonna to do today, which I almost never do, is I'm gonna wet the face a little bit. And I'm going to apply this Mersol Emulsion as a pre-shave. Some people swear by pre-shaves. I don't get much out of them. Um, people do swear by this as both a pre and post shave. It's pretty expensive at like a little north of 30 bucks. Um, we'll try it today just for the heck of it. We'll slap a little bit on as a pre-shave and just see if we benefit from it. Uh, typically, I don't get a tremendous benefit from pre-shave, but we'll slap it on, you know, see what happens. Um, I don't know why I put that on the back of my neck because I'm not shaving the back of my neck today, but anyway, slap it on and we will lather up and see how we do. Hope everyone is well. Today is Friday. Hope you will have a wonderful Friday in the beginning to the weekend. By the way, the knot on this is the original L'Occitane Plasson, which is really the knot that started the synthetic craze. Don't get me wrong. There were synthetics before Plasson. But when it came around and it was really soft, the first generation knots from the mule and so on just weren't as good as this knot in my view. Now, some people preferred the other knots, but this was really the first one that was super soft and still generated a, a great lather that really turned people on to synthetics in my view. Um, if you remember Busta, was a was an early adopter and uh, and other folks um, and Tasty I uh, I think uh, forget his last name uh, and I'm sorry if I'm butchering his name but he was also an early adopter and just a terrific uh, knot and at one point they went on sale for like twenty five or thirty bucks and it was just mayhem that the synthetic market exploded shortly after that when folks found out they could get these high quality synthetic knots uh, for a low price. By the way, the scent on this, I don't care for. It's kind of, I don't know, like a combination of floral and uh, medicinal, you know, I don't really care for the scent. Okay, we got the uh, Q-Shave Merker clone on its maximum setting and it is 
pretty doggone aggressive on that maximum setting, so use care. But uh, really, it's all about finding that angle and just going, going with it. You know, just being careful. Find the ankle, make your strokes, and and there you have it. Working really nicely, I'll tell you that. Um, this doesn't feel to me, you could just tell it doesn't have the same build quality as the future, or at least it doesn't feel like it does. But you know, it's like $55 cheaper also, so, you know. Um, but I will say the shave feels a lot like the marker future shave. And at some point, this will be up for giveaway. Along with, I found some other stuff. I was looking through my old stuff. I'm reorganizing in my uh, shaving area. And I found some other stuff that I'll be giving away also. So right now, up for giveaway, go watch the shave. Uh, I don't know, it, the last title that says giveaway in it, uh, the Pascal, uh, Razor is up for giveaway now. Uh, look, I, I actually got a, a cut on that. Must have clipped myself. There, yeah, I mean, it happens, happens to everybody. But anyway, no fault of the razor. Um, probably when I was putting my putting it to my face and that's a, a rare thing, but it can happen. But no worries, we do have a, we have a styptic here if we need it, so. We won't worry about it. We'll press on with our shave. But uh, what I was going to say was the razor, you know, it feels just fine. Now, of course, I end up with four or five weepers. <laughs> you know, maybe the maximum setting is not for me, but I have used the future on the maximum setting. I used to own it. The handle was a little long. It's a little uh, hefty. This one doesn't feel quite as hefty to me. and I, I just don't think it's built quite as, as well. Could be wrong. They could be identical in weight, but it just something feels off. Well, obviously, it's not the same razor, so. But uh, just doesn't feel like that quality from your Merker version. And I don't think that's any surprise at the price difference, you know. Uh, terrific soap here, by the way, and brush. There's tremendous opportunity out there to buy low cost gear from your places like, you know, West Coast Shaving, Razor, uh, Italian Barber, um, you know, especially here in the United States. And I hope, I, and I'm sure there are some vendors, um, you know, internationally that have uh, budget gear as well, but those I'm very well familiar with. Maggard, I think has some uh, budget offerings and I'm probably forgetting you know, some other folks, but those are the folks, in my view, that are most sort of synonymous with the, or at least you know that they have budget offerings. They sell more than budget gear. Some of them sell, or probably all of them, even sell high-end gear too, but they have a lot of budget gear also. Um, and so check them out. Uh, I was talking to a gent today and he was asking about synthetic brushes and he's a new uh, shaver and I sort of sent him to West Coast I think has some really nice synthetics right now their house brand they got some handsome synthetics to, so go check those out really nice looking synthetic brushes um, by the way, I want to speak on this soap. It's just terrific. Um, I don't know. It's kind of, it's, it kind of reminds me of a dream sickle a little bit, but at the same time, it's got a little spiciness to it. It's just terrific. And, you know, you don't see folks using it all the time. I don't know if he sells it anymore. I mean, sometimes artisans drop scents from their offerings. But this one I've always liked. It's it's fantastic and the soap quality is good. And this one's, you know, pretty old. I've had it for a long time, but it's still terrific. Still smells great too. I will say some of my older soaps, especially the ones that I uh, 
that I lathered in the tub with water. Some of them have lost a lot of their scent, um, at least at the surface level. Now I might be able to scrape some of that surface off and maybe there's some scent alive under, but man, I was smelling some of them as I'm reorganizing, reorganizing and some of the ones from, you know, quite some time back don't, don't have much juice. But I might, you know, scrape some out and lather it up and they might come to life. You never know. So hopefully they are because uh, there's some great scents. And some, you know, when you have so many soaps, sometimes uh, you forget ones that you have. You know, so when I was going through them today and reorganizing, I saw this one. I'm like, oh, man, I got to, I'm going to, I got to get that. Fouet La Orange out and use it. It's been a long time. And so it is a, a fine soap and it smells terrific. And you get that, you know, Katie's Bubbles quality that you would expect. If you're a fan of Katie's Bubbles, you know what I'm talking about. If you hadn't tried it, it's worth trying. Um, they don't make, I don't think he makes the ginormous tubs with eight ounces anymore. That was the good old days when they sold you eight ounces of soap for, you know, 20 bucks. Terrific value. And then most people started cutting down their size and they dropped their price. But let me put it to you this way. Today, the price per ounce on a lot of people have gone up. They give you less. So they don't charge as much necessarily for the tub, but you don't get as much. So the price per ounce has, has generally gone up. Um, although some people are pretty close to where they started, but most of them have inched up at least a little bit as far as artisans go. And you can't blame them. Um, you know, they got to make a living too. But I like the cost per ounce to be low. You know, that's sort of how I measure value on a soap. If it's a good soap and it's got a relatively low cost. For example, over $4 an ounce is pretty expensive. If it's three or under, it's pretty good. Um, under three is really good, generally speaking. And so I don't know where this soap falls today, but it was terrific when it was eight ounces for 20 bucks. Uh, I'm not sure what they sell for today because I haven't bought a lot. Well, I'll tell you, other than that one weeper there, which I don't think is bleeding anymore, that was a really nice, comfortable shave, even on six. Um, didn't really present any problems. The, the Q shave shaves just like a future, really. It doesn't feel as nice in the hand to me, but shaves pretty much the same as best as I can remember. I don't have a future here to compare it side by side with. But if you want a shave that's like a future, let's let's just say you you you're like, man, I'd like to have a future, but I want to spend 75 bucks. Maybe try one of these first. And if you like it, you like the handle, you like then, you know, maybe upgrade to the future. Um, and of course, we use the Katie's Bubbles Fouet, the orange, which is terrific. And a Rudy Vey custom uh TSE brush. Um, brush of the gods. Uh that's what we used to call the Plasan, the, the Brush of the Gods. If you watched from a long, long time ago, you'll get it. If you're brand new, uh, perhaps not. But anyway, there was so much debate over synthetics versus natural hair at the time, and it was a, it was a lot of fun. Um, still is to think about. Uh, the Mersol Emulsion, bleh. You know, from my perspective, I didn't get anything out of it. I mean, the shave felt like any other shave. I actually got a weeper. You know, although it wasn't bad because it's not bleeding. Um, eh, it's just meh for me. I'm, I'm not a big fan. I'll probably give it away at some point or give it to the inspector. Um, I want to thank everybody uh, for joining. Please uh, continue coming back because we're going to have more content uh, with more giveaways. And uh, that the giveaways are my thank you to you for watching. And thank you for the messages and the support and everything. I appreciate it. Um, to continue to support me, please subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, uh, share the content, follow me on Twitter, what have you. I really appreciate it. Appreciate the interaction. I thank you for watching. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB. You are not. God bless.